Hello, I'm Sri from CBTU. Welcome to the Ethical Hacker Training Course based on CEH Certification Program by EC Council. Module Network Scanning Section Port Scanner. A port scanner is an application designed to probe a server or a host for open ports. This is often used by the administrators to verify the security policies of their networks and by the attackers to identify network services running on a host to exploit vulnerabilities. A port scan is a process that sends a client request to a range of server port addresses on a host with the goal of finding an open port or active port. Port sweep is to scan multiple hosts for a specific listening port. The latter is typically used to search for a specific service, for example, SQL based worm may port sweep looking for the host listening on TCP port 1433. A port is an endpoint of communication in an operating system. A port number is a 16 bit unsigned integer thus ranging from 0 to 65535. Specific port numbers are often used to identify specific services. Uh, there are 1024 well known port numbers reserved by convention to identify specific service types on a host. Well-known port numbers are FTP 21, SMTP port number 25, like this. HTTP all well-known, that's a worldwide web service. And secure HTTP is 443, like this. In TCP IP, network services are referred using two components, a host address and a port number. Example 192.168.1.1. This is host colon 22. This is port SSH port that is. The results of a scan on a port is usually generalized into one of the three categories. Open or accepted. The host sent a reply indicating that a service is listening on the port. Closed or denied or not listening. The host sent a reply indicating that connections will be denied to this port filtered, dropped or blocked. There was no reply from the host. Open ports present two vulnerabilities. Security and stability concerns associated with the program responsible for delivering the service. That's open ports. And with the operating system that is running on the host, open or closed ports. Filtered ports do not tend to present vulnerabilities. These are the port scanning types. TCP scanning, SYN scanning, UDP, ACK, window scanning, and uh, FIN scanning. We have other scan types as well. TCP scan completes the TCP three-way handshake and the port scanner closes the connection. These services can log the sender IP address and IDS IPS can raise an alarm. NMAP calls this mode connect scan, named after the unique connect system call. SYN scanning is another form of TCP scanning, also known as half-open scanning. The port scanner generates a SYN packet. If the target port is open, it will respond with SYNAC packet. The scanner host responds with RST packet, that is reset, closing the connection before the handshake is completed. If the port is closed but unfiltered, the target will instantly respond with RST packet. UDP is connectionless protocol, so there is no equivalent to TCP SYN packet. If a UDP packet is sent to a port that is not open, the system will respond with an ICMP port unreachable message. Most UDP port scanners use this scanning method and use the absence of response to infer that a port is open. However, if the port is blocked by a firewall, this method will falsely report that a port is open. If the port unreachable message is blocked, all ports will appear open. This method is also affected by ICMP rate limiting. Sending a DNS query to port 53 will result in a response if DNS server is present. ASIC scanning doesn't exactly determine whether the port is open or closed, but whether the port is filtered or unfiltered. This is especially good when attempting to probe for the existence of a firewall and its rule sets. Window scanning is rarely used and is untrustworthy in determining whether a port is opened or closed. It generates the same packet as ASIC scan but checks whether the window field of the packet has been modified.
Firewalls generally block SYN packets. FIN packets can bypass the firewalls without modification. Closed ports reply to a FIN packet with appropriate RST packet, that is the reset packet, whereas open ports ignore the packet on hand. This is a typical TCP behavior and is in some ways a loophole. We have many scan types. These are the other scan types that exist and Nmap supports most of these. XMAS sends packets with fin, urgent and push flags turned on like a Christmas tree. Null sends a packet with no TCP flags set. Protocol scan. This is done to determine what IP protocols like TCP, UDP, etc. are enabled on the target. Proxy scan. This is done to know the proxy's IP address. Idle scan. This is a scanning without revealing one's identity. CAT scan. This checks for the ports for erroneous packets. ICMP scan. This determines if a host responds to ICMP requests such as echo, ping, netmask, etc. Many internet service providers restrict the customer's ability to perform port scans to destinations outside of their home networks. This is usually covered in the terms of service or acceptable use policy to which a customer must agree. Some ISPs implement packet filters or transparent proxies that prevent outgoing service requests to certain ports. If an ISP provides a transparent HTTP proxy on port 80, the port scans of any address will appear to have port 80 open, regardless of the target host's actual configuration. Thanks for watching.